Jake Bernstein at the San Francisco Money Show with Mike Turner. Sorry I called you Dan before. Apologies. You're giving us some great answers. Why don't you continue? What other technical indicators, if any, do you use? Well, you know, the thing that I have, uh, uh, I have seen the most in, in, uh, in any of my analysis of the market, and what makes me really different as a money manager, is that most money managers like to look at, uh, uh, to, with, a, with a, one of their clients, they'll say, well, the best approach to making money in the market, and you can go through all of history, is buy and hold. You want to buy high quality stocks, you want to hold on to them through thick or thin. It doesn't matter if the market goes down or goes back up because the market always comes back. But here's what people don't understand. If you don't, buy and hold does work by the way, but buy and hold only works if you're going to live forever, number one. Number two, you never need the money. And number three, you don't care about losing 40 or 50 or 60% of your money right. from time to time. So when you talk about what indicators I look at, I want to make sure that my clients don't lose a lot of money. You know, what, what really makes a successful investor in the stock market is not how well you do in a bull market. Everybody should be able to make money in a bull market. How much do you give back? It's how much you don't lose right. or in the bear market or actually make in a bear market. And now, with, with the fact that there's so many really good inverse ETFs, and I'm not talking about ultras, I'm not talking about 2X or 3X, right. leveraged ones. I'm looking at individual 1X inverse ETFs that you can actually detect from a mathematical perspective whether or not you should be bullish or in cash or bearish using when, those indicators. My, when you refer to mathematical perspective, you're talking about what kind of math? Well, the kind of math that I use is pretty simple. I use a 200-day moving average, plus or minus one standard deviation of normal volatility. How do I calculate the normal volatility? It really, I use a Black-Scholes formula. I, use, I, I look at 12 months back and one week forward. So I'm, I'm a long-term investor, right. one week at a time, mm -hmm. okay? So what I like to do is whether or not the market itself is staying above that, that what I consider my neutral zone, or whether it's in it or below it. And that's all predicated on whether or not, and the market, again, is those five major indexes that I've mentioned. But by the way, I look at every stock and its neutral zone. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is. That I look at that 200-day, and, and there's nothing magical about a 200-day. We've, we've tested 50-day, 80-day, 120 days, 300 days. The 200-day seems to work out pretty well for giving you an indication of whether to be bullish, neutral, or bearish. Do I look at fundamentals? Yes, I do. I have 12 of them I look at. Do I look at technicals? Yes, I do. I have, I have six of them that I look at. But the, 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 those technicals and fundamentals on a given stock don't even matter unless the market's moving in your direction. And if there's anything I could leave with the audience is this. It doesn't matter what the stock is. It doesn't matter how good it is. It doesn't matter how many times you've owned it or whether you've owned it all your life. What matters is whether or not it's going to go up or down. And if the market's moving up, the odds are in your favor right. that it will move up. If the market's going down, the odds are in your favor that you're going to lose money in it. Great information. Can you tell our viewers where they can reach you? Website, where can, where can oh, they reach they you? Can, they can reach me at uh, turnercapital.com. So just go to www.turnercapital.com. You can uh, fill out a, uh, a form there that will get information to me, and I personally will be in touch with you. Pleasure. Thanks, sir. Take care.